Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Refreshing Moments with Dr. UD Obi. In this podcast, I would like to take a moment with you all to reflect, reset and relax. Wherever you are in the world, take a moment to reflect with me as we move from January through February and the rest of the new year. When I think of February, I immediately think of love. Love in all its forms. Love of our partners, our children, our friends, neighbors, and the love of God. With Valentine's Day halfway through the month, and the memories of seeing loved ones at Christmas so fresh in our minds, it's only natural that for many people, February focuses on love. But Valentine's Day seems to have such a focus on romantic love. Boyfriends and girlfriends, husbands and wives. To me, this seems to sometimes take the focus away from the, all the other kinds of love that are just as important. There are so many people in our lives who are just as deserving of love and appreciation as our partners. We love our parents our children, our pets, our neighbors and friends, and of course, we love God. However, there are no days in the year reserved for showing our love to these people the way that Valentine's Day urges us to show love to our significant others. That's why every February, I think about the other ways in which I can celebrate my love for others while making sure that they know how appreciated and cherished they are. My newest song, Let's Talk About Love, was born when I began to think about this concept. I considered all the love I have within me and all the people who this love can benefit and raise up. What might feel like a small act of caring for me, like a kind smile to a stranger on the street, could make their day or even be the highlight of their week even if after that quick moment I never think about that smile again acts of love can be so easy for the giver but may mean so much to the receiver if we all try to prioritize these small acts of love and kindness we can each scatter love around us like the petals of a rose thrown into the breeze and who doesn't love the scent of gross petals as a reminder to stop and appreciate the small things in life there are so many other kinds of love than just romantic love but with all these romantic movies and tv shows showing the importance of a happily ever after it can be easy to forget these other crucial relationships in our lives friends neighbors colleagues all of these people need love just as much and some of them may not have a spouse or close friends to give them the gifts of love it is therefore important not to limit ourselves to showing love openly to just a few people in fact we should show love and caring to everyone even strangers on the street An act of love can just be asking someone, how are you? Or offering to carry a grocery bag for someone. Of course, I'm not suggesting that we forget about our partner or spouse on Valentine's Day. The holiday can serve as a reminder to all of us that we should be regularly showing appreciation, romance, and giving thanks to our significant other for being who they are. However, why not make an effort to show this love on all days not just valentine's day a thoughtful gift handwritten note or a bunch of flowers might mean even more to our partners if it is given on a random day of the week or for no reason than because you want to show that you love them i believe that often acts of love have even more meaning if they are done just because a gift as christmas is often overshadowed by all the other gifts events and gatherings of the season 
but a small thoughtful gift in the middle of May can mean the world during a stressful week at work. In the same way, a box of chocolates that might have been given on Valentine's Day will be a sweet surprise in August when there is no expectation from society to give such gifts. I am a big believer in just because. In today's society, it's easy to feel pressure to give love in expensive gifts and large gestures. Many of our holidays have become very commercial and focused on spending. Christmas and Valentine's Day are both great examples of this change. This can become stressful if you can't afford to give 50 red roses or a diamond necklace or plain tickets for a tropical vacation. You can feel inadequate or as if there is no point in trying at all. We may feel that our partner will be disappointed or that because we do not have the money to give an extravagant gift, that it means that we don't have love to give. Because of this pressure, many of us have forgotten one of the most important lessons that the Bible has taught us, that love is patient and kind. It is not proud, it does not envy, and it does not boast. Love does not have to be shouted from the rooftops, and it does not need to cost a fortune. It does not need to cost anything at all, and it certainly does not need to be both. In fact, the greatest acts of love are those that do not cost a penny. I'll give you some example so that you can see what I mean. Love can be telling a special person all the reasons why you appreciate them. Their smile, their sense of humor, their faith, or the support they have given you through the years. Love can be doing the laundry when your spouse gets home from work so they can have a moment to relax. Love can be taking the time to play imaginary games with one's children, getting messy, being silly, and listening to their inner thoughts. Love can be taking the time to check in on a neighbor, and it can be making the space for a moment of quiet prayer to show our love for God and our own faith. Don't compare your love to others, and don't feel ashamed for the way in which you show love. God will not compare his love for you to his love for, of another. And we should strive to do the same. What matters is that love is a priority for us, however we choose to show it. And that includes showing love, compassion, and caring for your own self. In other words, self-love. Self-love is just as important as showing care for others. If you neglect yourself, you'll find that you have much less energy and loving kindness to give to others. By caring for yourself and expressing self-love, you can increase your ability to care for others. In a way, this means that showing love to yourself is a way of showing love to others, even though it may not feel like it. So how do we show love to ourselves this February and throughout the year? The answer may be very different for me than it is for you, and that is very much okay, because we are all complex individuals after all. Some simple ideas for self-love are simply making up time for things that make you happy. Whether this is time with family or friends, time for prayer or quiet reflection, or spending time outdoors. In the simple beauty of nature. Perhaps write down a list of things that energize you and fill your cup, allowing you to fill the cup of others. Once you have this list, choose a few simple easy things that you will do to make this happen. I hope that you feel the love this February and I hope that all year you will help others to feel loved and cared for. I know that I'll be trying to show love in all of these different ways, no matter the day of the year. Remember that you are loved. You have so much love to give, and you deserve to feel loved in return. That's all for today's episode. 
But tune in to the next episode for more refreshing moments, inner thoughts and reflections. Thank you and God bless.